everyone. So in one of my videos, I have how to use, um, how to make your own loop using the, the um, one step looper. Again, I have the 1.5 millimeter looper, but there's also a couple different sizes, um, different size loopers you can purchase as well. But what if you don't have one of these? And what if you ran out of eye pins? Well, I can show you how. All right, so these are round nose pliers. And as you can see, they come, you know, there's, they come in different um, length noses, I guess you can say, here, and then different thickness. Like these two are my favorite. I use these most of the time. Um, they're much longer than the ones I have here. And it's still, you know, I still get the large size plus, or it's still tapered plus, um, these are light enough to where I can use like a Sharpie marker, one of those really thin Sharpie markers. And if I want to make one size loops, I want my loops to be uniform, to be the exact same size, I can mark it on here and it's easy to see. So I'll just put the wire, I don't have the mark, I don't have a, it marked right now, but I'll just put the wire, let's say my mark was there. I'll put the wire there and then I'll make my loop. Um, here you'll probably, a Sharpie wouldn't work. So you'll probably want to use maybe like a white, white marker. I guess, or a much lighter color on here, but I just want to show you the different sizes. Not only that, but some round nose pliers have cutters here, which is really convenient. Um, I mean, if you don't have a separate wire cutter, then you can just use these here. And not only do some have the cutters, but they also have a hole there. I, I use this for um, like maybe pinching, because sometimes if you make your own loop, which might happen here, sometimes if you make your own loop, it doesn't close all the way, so I'll just use that here. I'm sure it's used for something else, but that's what I use it for. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna remove these. All right, so to make your own eye pin, if you don't have the one step looper, then you just take your wire, make sure that it's flush on the end, because here you can, I don't know how well you can see that, but it, it, there's it's tapered just a little bit. This side here is flush. It's It's been cut with the snipper with the um, wire snippers and it's it's flush okay so depending on the size you want it again you can go this is the larger size of course this is the smaller size anywhere in between so what you do is you take the end of the wire and put it right in between so it's flush so you can't feel the wire poking through the other side and you're just going to turn it's going to turn it okay and it's not turned enough you see that it's still open so put your run those pliers in there here let's turn it this way so you can see it oops okay and then you're just going to, even if you want to push the wire up so that they meet, you can do that. And there's your loop. Now, to make an eye pin, you're going to put, put the wires back in, or put the pliers back in. Now, just to bend it back slightly, I'll put it towards the tip there. And then towards the towards the front, towards the tip. And then I'll just, I'm sorry. And then I'll just move it back. 
okay? And then you can also adjust it as well. You can straighten it out and adjust it. But there it is. Again, okay. You'll wanna, you'll wanna play with it a little bit. Make sure it closes all the way. But that's how you do it. That's how you make your own. Now that, that loop is, a, is slightly too big, bigger than what I would use it for. So I'd probably, but this is just to, for demonstration purposes. So I, I, I normally use more towards the dip, tip, the thinner, the thinner size um, part of the pliers. So that's it. That's all you do. And then of course to open it, you want another like flat nose pliers on the side because you see how the round nose pliers, I'm trying to grip it, it's not working. But you're gonna open it just like you would a jump ring or any other eye pin. So it's best to use um, 20 gauge, if you're gonna do eye pins and, and, and dangle, have dangles on either side, you want it strong. So usually um, 20 gauge, um, eye pins are made for, out of 20 gauge. I wouldn't go any thinner than 22 gauge wire. Um, but 20 gauge wire is, is the most popular. So again, there you go. If you don't have the one step looper here, you still have a way of making your own eye pins. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me anytime. Um, if you have any comments, please let me know. All right. I love you all and I will see you later.